Hello everyone, you are watching Dr. Bipin Kumar. So in the series of ICA GRF Topper, today I am going to introduce you Adris. He is the Topper of 2018 uh, in ICA GRF Intomology. So this video was uh, uh, demanding since long time. So now uh, this is a fortunate time for you people to are preparing for the Intomology. So now I am going to request Adris. Please give you a bit of the introduction and share your strategy here. Hello everyone, my name is Adrish De. I did my undergraduation from Bidhan Chandra Prishi Vishwavitala in Mohanpur. Uh, so, please ask her whatever you want. Okay, okay. So, Adrish, the, the thing is the first that uh, main basic thing that uh, students are very interested to know uh, the right time to start. So, what was your right time? Okay, I started from the third year onwards. So, okay, third year onward you third started. Year onwards, yeah. So, what was your uh, reason behind that you taken the intermodology as a subject? First of all, I was intrigued by this uh, diversity of this uh, phylum. Okay, okay, okay. And uh, from this phylum, of course, I focused on to the class in sector. So. Okay, okay. So, what do you think? How the students should start their preparation? First of all, the students must have an interest in the subject. Now, of course, interest is not the sole thing for securing a rank. So, what they should do? They should first uh, get hold of the required books. Okay, okay. So, and then start according to the syllabus. Now, the in the beginning, in the beginning, one should go for this uh, basic aspects of the subject, okay. like uh, in morphology. Okay. The morphology, physiology, and taxonomy, all these can be covered from the book in sector. In sector. Yeah, in sector. So by no problem. The name of the book is uh, given. Will be given here in the description box, so you can even write down from there. So now start. Okay. Now in morphology, the students can uh, like familiarize themselves with the structures, and they can also study how they help in survival. They can look for the diagrams rather than just uh, reading the text. They can uh, look the diagrams. They can even search in the internet okay. how they look, and they also can uh, like study simultaneously the morphology and taxonomy. They can like uh, what they can do. They can uh, study the morphology, the adaptations, and they can associate it uh, with the uh, taxon in which it is present. So that will help in the remembering that. I think. Yeah better understanding yeah for taxonomic uh, things like uh, they can remember the orders along the evolutionary trend okay, okay, okay. okay and also they should also remember a few peculiar characteristics of such okay okay, okay, okay. so this is the way of uh, uh, reading yeah yeah so no no you, you, you can start okay again uh, after having a fair amount of grasp on this basic aspects one should go for the applied aspects also and which uh, includes the uh, pest management strategies like IPM, okay. the different strategies of IPM should be covered. Then comes uh, chemical can you management. Can name the some, uh, book? Yeah, uh, for IPM, they can go for applied entomology. Okay. okay. Uh, again, by Raghumurthy, and also um, there's a book by Thaliwal and Arora. Okay, okay, okay. So, for that, um, they can go for this uh, IPM, uh, they can first uh, start with this IPM strategies. Then, for this chemical management thing, means the toxicology, they can uh, remember this uh, the names of pesticides. All the names. Uh, it would be easier if they remember it along the its trend in, uh, in a chronological manner, the cro according to its chronological trend. Okay. And also they can group it by the mode of action. Okay. And okay. alongside they also, it's better if they can remember a few of the trade names. Okay. So, so these are the some of the area from where the question mostly asked from the. Yeah, the question, insecticide portion. The question can be asked Means from there. Classification on the basis of the mode of action, chemical nature, eh? yeah. like that way. Yeah. Okay. And then comes the beneficial insects. Okay. Uh, one should also focus on that. The beneficial insects like black insect, then silkworm. Okay, okay. So, then honeybee goes there. Okay, okay. So that should also be studied. Yeah. Uh, and then comes the nematology part. Nematology. Yeah. That is also the part of uh, entomology. Now yeah, in the subject group it is. Subject group. Uh, the subject is included. So, for uh, the student neglect the nematology, they should always uh, give an equal impetus to this also. Okay, okay. Means 50 50 question, percent question asked. Huh? Uh, not 50 50, but still a good amount of questions come from nematology. Nematology. So, the students should give equal yeah. focus. Equal yeah, yeah, yeah. So, can you name some book of the for the yeah, for uh, nematology? They should study uh, the book by Bajaj and Golia. Bajaj and yeah, uh, a textbook of introductory plant nematology. Okay, okay. So, can you tell us some uh, more uh, interesting area and important area in nematology? Because 
see uh, so, in nematology what i did uh, i generally studied the things like uh, uh, means the uh, the taxons which have near about similar characters okay okay i try to differentiate them okay, based okay. on the characters so uh, like meta uh, meloid uh, this meloidogyne and mm -hmm. heterodera okay, okay. okay they are quite similar okay, okay. but they had differences okay, okay. i focused on these differences see uh, because uh, in entomology what i did i looked up the internet for the photos and all these in nematology i there were photos but uh, i didn't much of it get it okay okay so what i did i tried to remember the differences among them okay 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 so now in the anything now, will be... yeah there are, there is one more thing that got left out the economic entomology part economic entomology. yeah for that the crop pest thing uh, that can be covered from the, uh, that book, uh, Elements of Economic Entomology by B. V. David. Okay, okay. And it's quite an exhaustive book. So, uh, what I would advise is they should uh, summarize the topics. Okay. So, what happens is uh, it becomes quite easy when one is revising the topic. They are revising. So, okay. you cannot revise the entire book before the exam. It's okay. uh, quite difficult. Yes, 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 yes. So if they summarize them as per their Early, requirement. At the requirement, means uh, your strategy is that uh, that is somewhat lengthy book. Yeah, quite exhaustive. Exhaustive. So it is better to make even note also. If suppose they are hmm. reading, yeah, that's simultaneously true. they can even make some summary of the notes of, from that book. Yeah, yeah. So it might be helpful for them to uh, means remember during the, just before the exam time also. Eh? Yes. So uh, the one thing I also am very interested to know, uh, uh, how many uh, hours of the study you have given during your whole preparation time as general in third year and at the last moment of the time? Well, after reaching home, uh, well, I was a day scholar, so yeah. uh, I studied only after reaching home. So, after reaching home, I studied for about two to three hours. Two to three hours. Daily? Two day, to yeah. Daily. Okay. But, uh, Average two to three hours you have given across yeah, third consistent. year. Consistently in third year. Yeah. And uh, apart from this, uh, yeah. Is there any other way of uh, your strategy? Other strategy means uh, how you are managing means uh, your holiday even. Oh yeah, I try to utilize the holidays like uh, on the weekends. Okay, so, so we can you totally utilize for the. Oh uh, yeah, I uh, try to utilize it as much as possible. Okay, okay, uh, okay. one can't study f throughout the day. But you try to, to utilize uh, the time only for exclusively for the. Yeah. Jira only. Yeah, sort of. And in the fourth year, uh, Rave is the one of the programs. So during the Rave program, how you manage? Um, well, managing out two to three hours two, per three day. Hours in, uh, yeah, during the uh, Rave. Yeah, during the Rave, it was a bit difficult, but well, like I said, the consistency is a key. When you completed your whole syllabus? Whole syllabus around the time when Rave begins. So beginning of the Rave, you completed your whole yeah. syllabus. Okay. In the fourth year, what was your somewhat strategy? In the fourth year, means uh, my opinion is that uh, students should revise as much as possible. Like uh, they shouldn't focus on memorizing a lot of things. Rather, they should focus on f forgetting as little as possible. Okay. So means, uh, even uh, even when I'm studying for these subjects, what I used to do is I used to read little bit of the uh, means I used to cover a small part of the topic okay and then uh, there's a term called spaced repetition so I used to uh, means I uh, read this topic uh, on day one then I again revised it on day two day two then after day three I revised it on day four then I used to space the times out okay, okay. okay. so that uh, I don't forget them okay hmm. Rather, I means instead of focusing on remembering more, I tried not to forget. Or not to forget means the, your strategy was uh, means how you try to not to forget. Yeah. But retaining what, more. Uh, retain more and more. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, how many questions you attempted this year? Uh, well, because your rank was first. So, how many questions you attempted? Well, I left out three questions. Three question. Yes. Out of one. Hundred and sixty. Yeah. Okay, that's good. Because this question, the student asked, so uh, first ranker, how many questions he attempted? So that's why I asked. So anything left you wanted to say? Because I think this is sufficient to 
yeah, I huh? think it's so quite sufficient. In the last, if you want to say or summarize something, you can share. Yes, the students, the aspiring candidates, they must uh, study with an interest for the subject rather than just going after the rank. Okay. Uh, that doesn't mean that uh, rank is not important. Of course, it provides opportunities for better infrastructure and exposure, but it should not be the final determinant of su success. The aspirant should always keep their passion for subject alive, whether or not they secure the desired rank. Okay, okay. And I wish all the best to the aspirants. So thank you, Adarish, for giving us such a valuable time. And uh, definitely this video will uh, reform the life of someone and some candidates will become from this video only. So thank you for giving such a time, valuable time. Okay. 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 Bye-bye. It's, it's my pleasure. Okay.